Hi everyone, I'm Nastya, I'm designer, YouTuber, teaching people digital illustration. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can design your own travel poster using Curve app. I'll show you how you can turn a beautiful picture in long width into a gorgeous vector illustration. Today we are going to design a custom travel poster. You will learn how to turn a photo you are in low with into a vintage travel poster. Initially crafted for promotional purposes, travel poster functioned as effective advertising instruments for hotels, airlines, and the tourism sector in the past. A quick Google search for travel posters term will reveal stunning vector illustrations featuring gorgeous landscapes and landmarks, beautifully paired with retro typography. Let's start designing our travel poster. Open Curve and create a new canvas. You can personalize the canvas size, however general travel poster size is 24 x 36 inches. I've pre-selected this picture to Kinibisa to work on for the tutorial. I will transform this picture into a vector illustration without drawing a single vector. Instead, I will let the artificial intelligence work its magic through the auto trace feature you can find in Curve. Curve's auto trace offers multiple vectorizing modes. It's definitely one of my favorite tools when you want to speed up the things or get unique vectors. So, you can trace pixel pictures using auto trace tools in three different modes photography, sketch, and illustration. I have created three copies of the picture in order to show you what results you can get from each auto trace mode. Additionally, I encourage you to explore and experiment with different parameters of each mode, playing with amount of details, complexity, or contrast. Just have fun, really. Now we got our results, and I'm really in love with the results from illustration mode. Uh, it brings me back memories of those gorgeous impressionism paintings, trying to capture the lights and shadows and give it all the color. Okay, let's proceed with our illustration and let's remove the rest of examples and we will keep only the vector outcome from illustration mode. Now you need to position the illustration to cover the entire artboard and set the fill color of the artboard so it will cover white spaces between vectors. I get the color directly from the illustration using eyedrop tool. Initially I attempt with the charcoal shade, but upon a reflection I recommend you switching to a middle green to get a more natural appearance with the light areas. Now you need to lock the illustration in the layer menu in order to prevent it from moving accidentally. As for the composition of the travel poster, I thought of split composition. Illustration, getting around 80% of the space on artboard, and text box at the bottom. Let's start by creating a rectangle that will serve as a background for our text box. Pick up rectangle tool and set the fill color to a light color picked up directly from illustration using eyedrop tool. As for the text, I thought of including the following elements, the most common ones in the travel posters actually. Location, country and short description of the location. I will be using font size to create text hierarchy to conduct viewers' attention. Let's start with the word Ibiza. When choosing what font to use, I recommend you explore what font other travel posters use. You just need to explore what solutions work well and what solutions don't. Commonly, travel posters use retro fonts, so my recommendation for you is to explore retro font families. If fonts are not your strength, you can always check online resources like fontsanduse.com where you can explore beautiful font combinations. I picked up an available option, Futura Bot. As for the font color, I've picked up a nice blue color directly from the illustration, ensuring that the color palettes combine well with each other, and the final result looks coherent and unified. Work with fonts don't change when actually you pick a font. Now you need to decide what adjustments your font actually needs in the context. You can experiment with different configurations, such as font type, bold, italic, regular, pacing between letters, or experiment with different font sizes or even colors or contours. Now let's add the secondary text that says Spain. 
Let's set the font size to a nice handwritten font like Alison and make sure you to decrease the font size at least two times. Make sure the fonts combines well, but you have to be aware that the fonts still be legible enough. Additionally, don't forget to adjust the letter spacing. And now the question is, how do we combine these two lines? In visual composition, there is a clean space rule that ensures that each object has an ample space around. However, an alternative approach involves placing objects together, creating a visual hierarchy through the layer's overlaid effect. Basically, you need to recreate that one object is on top of the other one, and to achieve a layer effect, you can always use a contour. Let's do that. Select the Spain text, turn on the stroke color and match the stroke color to the background rectangle's fill color. Now the most important, shift stroke position from center, the default one, to outside and increase the stroke width until it seamlessly integrates with the main title and move it around a little and play with size and experiment with the position until you see the both object combines well. Actually, exploring retro designs, I've spotted a trend where lines play a pivotal role in graphic compositions. Inspired by this, I decided to introduce a line just below the board visa. Why not? Crafting a line view is super easy. Simply access the line tool in the shape menu, which you can find by switching from the rectangle tool. Lastly, Let's include a brief description of Ibiza's local gem, focusing not on the famous parties and nightlife, but on the island, nature, wonders, and charming villages. In order to speed up the things, I will ask ChatGPT to generate a short description of Ibiza's nature and culture. To place the description, first you need to create a text box and place the text ChatGPT generates for you. This text box is the last one in the visual hierarchy. You need to use a tiny font size, but make sure it's visible and legible. For the text boxes, you can use Jill Sans font. It's easy to read, easier than Futura in my opinion in case of using tiny font sizes. And I also recommend you increasing the line height so the text becomes more attractive to get read. Also, I have adjusted a little font sizes of the rest of the text elements to make sure the text box with the description spins well and I don't have to use extremely tiny font size so nobody can read it. Last detail that will help us achieve this retro look of our poster. A blue frame all around the text. You can create it super easily using Offset Path tool. Select the rectangle of the background of the text and now go to the Style menu and scroll down until you see the Offset Path button. Click on that and set a negative offset until you like the result, you like it, how it matches all the composition. And when you are happy with that, set the stroke color to the same blue color you have been using all the time for the text, for the lines. And make sure you are using the same stroke width as for the line you have created previously. And that's it! We just turned a beautiful picture into a unique travel poster inspired by impressionism art combined with retro fonts. What do you think about it? And what picture will you turn into a travel poster? Let us know in the comments! So that's all for today, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let us know in the comments your feedback. Also let us know what tutorials you would like to see in the future.